welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is a little bit wait what day is it today this should be day three of me uploading not so regularly but trying <laughs> see what i did there uh, i've been wanting to make throw pillows for my seat for the longest time uh, i did manage to make one you guys really loved this as a head wrap. Thanks for that. I appreciate. Yeah, this is the one I really posted. Uh, is it called really? I don't know what it's called, but let me just say I upgraded. I upgraded this, and I want to do it. I want to upgrade all of them. Uh, I don't know if this is a tutorial, but if you think this is a tutorial or you find it helpful, continue watching. Or just watch me just watch me do this so this is how the pillows came and uh, these pillows came with this sofa they were given three how many was they given i think i was given three of them yeah it must be three or two but i really really hated the finishing in fact that day we argued with the guy who made my sofa because i was like what finishing is this on a venimation look so today what you're going to do is you're just basically going to tear it apart and then just use some of the fiber in there okay that's what we're going to do today i've also always wanted a is it called a sausage pillow or something a roll pillow something like that for the bed uh, i think it looks cute uh, as i also work on getting a new bed maybe in future because i don't like my current bed and I can't get a big bed because my bedroom is so tiny. <laughs> so for as long as we live here, we're just going to work with that bed. And then you won't believe what's inside pillows. I don't know if this is what's inside all pillows of mattresses cut up. Uh, but I found it so stiff for me. And at the same time, I found the fiber too soft for me. So what I did with the one that I already made is I mixed the two and made more pillows out of it. This is fiber. Uh, it's what people used to make pillows. It was 300 a kg. This is how it looks. I got 3 kgs. I got it from Gikomba. It was 300 or 250 a kg. I'm not so sure which among the two. But I remember I got 3 kgs. And then you have to buy this gunia for 20 bob. If you go to Gikomba, go sides the hardware. Go the sides where the hardware are. That's where they sell it. So I've already made a pillow out of it through pillows so this is what i have left still a lot so let's get into this diy i also made this pillow uh i love love how it turned out but i think i can definitely stuff it more add some more stuffing in it i really wish i could do this as a voiceover but i suck at voiceovers so you just have to watch a long ass video I'm going to spread a piece of sheet down here. So next I'm just going to separate it and fluff it out. Definitely most of the things they gave me was just sponge. Why am I getting this dusted doing this? So this is the fiber I got from Missiri. Um I like how it feels in a bed pillow but i don't like how it feels in pillow ya kitty i don't know if i'm making sense i like it when pillow ya kitty is a bit harder so i'm going to mix the two in a certain ratio so i've just cut this piece of cloth this material you can get it from any fabric store i think a meter is 90 kenya shillings it's going to be the same size as this so let's just go through I'm going to sew this side, this side, and then I'm going to leave us this top part for filling. Because we're working with white fabric, I want to just use a white thread. I've already shown you guys how to do all this, so let's just skip over to when I start. I'll be working with a straight stitch, I'll use eight. So 
soon is it called soon now that i've sewed all sides of the fabric i'm just going to turn it around so that the ugly sides can be in the pillow was a perfectionist i'd go iron this side but i'm not a perfectionist so next we're just going to stuff we're going to stuff it using a mixture of the geek wash one and the old one i'm just going to alternate nothing serious kuna formula ya kuweka you just alternate We're going to repeat exactly that to this old one. So I want to make sure my pillow is well stuffed and fluffy and just when you sleep on it, you feel like you're beautiful. I'm going to use this seam reaper to just undo this other one that I had made. I don't want to open the whole thing since I'm just stopping up with this. So I'll just use this small opening to fill it up. So I'm just going to try and push it inside so that it makes sewing a little bit easier for me, it doesn't give me a hard time. And then I like this because even if the ends are outside, it doesn't have a bad finishing. This is the 21 by 21 inch, the one we've made today. Uh, this is the other one, this is the one the sofa came with and we just stuffed it further. Now let's make some covers. I'm just going to next attach this zip. Uh, this is the invisible zip and this is what I prefer using nowadays. I'm watching some green color bars. Um, which I think we're still mistaken for tourists even now. I quickly need to change the footer to the zipper footer. This is not really a tutorial, but in case you want me to make a detailed tutorial on how to make this pillowcase, how to attach the zipper, this invisible zipper, just leave a comment and I'll make sure I do. Okay? Now that I've attached the zip on both sides, I'm just going to close it. I'm done making it, I'm just going to turn the pillowcase cover so that the correct way is outside. And then just now put the pillow in. Easy like Sunday morning. Oh, 
I like this. You see why we made the cover small so that this one can be well stuffed in there. Really, really love how it has turned out. So this is the invisible zip method that I was trying to achieve. You see how nice it looks? That's how I wanted my pillows to look. This way. So this is how the pillow turned out. This is one without a cover. This is one without a cover. This is with the cover we made. Now I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, but when you're making the cover, ensure the cover is two inches smaller than the actual pillow. I don't know if you can see a difference so that the pillow can be compressed well and it fits well. So like for example this cover I made it in 21 by 21 inches. The cover I made it in 20 inches with a 1 inch allowance for sewing. Yeah so this is how it turned out. If you love how it turned out don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment and I will definitely see you in my next video.